Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time I'm gonna go as Steroids, I think. He's a fun guy. Um, and we can do double weapons here, but we do get two of the same weapon as this guy anyways. I could do double lance. That could be kind of interesting, actually. The double lance seems like a good start. Of course, we take our inversion crown. Yeah, like, I don't know. I've never really done double melees this guy before, but I feel like this is, like, a really good way to go. So let's try and build towards something with melee here um, and see if we can make this work. What's going on with this little... Ooh, what the hell? Um, this seems broken. What the hell? I'm not quite sure what happened there. Old shotgun also seems new to me. Ooh. This seems broken. Interesting. I don't know what that's about. I do not know what that's about. Okay, let's go this way and go through the inverted, shall we? I love this little roly-poly guy. This skin on this dude's great. <laughs> it just feels so good. Right, um... Let's go with extra feet. I think being able to move around a bit faster is going to be useful here. But yeah, having the, the double swing here is going to be really, really nice. I'm just hoping we can get some good melee weapons later down the line. Obviously, this is a really good starting one. The lance is actually... Definitely one of the best melee starting weapons, I think. But we can definitely do better. There's more out there for us. Uh, it's super interesting they updated the uh, the portal frames now. I kind of miss the old ones, to be honest. <laughs> it's weird. It's just strange to me. Give me my rads back, please. Thank you. Was hoping I'd get a level above for that, but not quite. Um, gonna go with fists. Thank you for the extra damage. I just need to actually make sure that I'm staying at high health whenever possible so I can keep that damage around. Not much point in having it if I can't use it. Inverted bandit. Okay, you're there. What the hell? I <laughs> just, like, two-shot that guy. That was mental. Also, where the hell did all you guys come from? Okay, we're making our way through. Unfortunately, right now, I'm at pretty low HP. But it's okay. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Okay, we didn't actually lose too much there, though. Like, that wasn't too bad. I wonder if that, this seems broken thing's going to show up every time now. Is that just like a new way of getting the inversion magnet? Yeah, it's there again, look, and it just gives me the inversion magnet. Before, you had to break it to get that, so I'm guessing that's just a new way of gaining the inversion magnet or something. Kind of interesting. Do we not get an inverted portal this time? I've been scammed. I've been scammed. Go with the flexible elbows. That's kind of melee-esque. Not quite, but it kind of feels like it is. Right. I love the new bullets. They look way, they stand out way more. Way easier to distinguish. A good change indeed. Right. Keep going. Can we get long arms? We got ourselves um, the fists again. I'll take that because that was pretty good last time. The extra damage clearly made a difference. I just need to actually stay at high HP. That's my biggest issue right now. The bandit is here. Yeah, I just need, uh, like, bloodlust or something like that. Um, bloodthirsty. Wh wh whichever the one is that heals me when I kill enemies, that'd be nice. Um, I'm gonna go with that as well. Easy to stay at max HP and even more damage potential. Technically, we don't deal any extra damage, but if the enemies have less HP, we are able to kill them faster, so it works. Okay. Got that crap out of the way. I left a few fellas over this way. Probably shouldn't have done, but let's really poorly our way on down and see what's what. Okay, we've got an inverted portal there as well. Okay, it's open. Cool. We're going through, baby. Is this the one that leads to YVs, or is that, um, inverted, um, pizza sewer? I can't remember. We got Morph there as well. Go grab Morph. Good, good. Don't need ammo for anything right now, I don't even know why I'm sort of stretching to pick that up. It means nothing to me. I see there's an enemy up here somewhere that I've missed. And there's one more down here. God damn it. They're all over the goddamn place at the minute. 
Why you gotta be so cruel to me? Okay, I actually missed quite a few over here. Having morphs good though, kills enemies even faster. So far we have a very strong build. Uh, there's long arms. I think I will take that, thank you. Hey, we do get to go to YVs here. Honestly, long arms with uh, with this setup is uh, pretty amazing. The amount of range we have is uh, unprecedented. Ooh, golden charge burst. Seems like a really good golden one to start with. Maybe not for this character specifically, but in general, that just seems like a good golden weapon. Inverted YVs as well. Lovely. Dude, we are destroying right now. I could sacrifice my weapon mod. I, I don't do that very often, so I think I am going to do that. In fact, um, if I switch to this weapon and put that on, I can sacrifice this radiation here because I don't care about that so much. Go through here. Why not? Um, okay, what do we want to go for here? This is kind of tricky. I guess I could go with Serene Dreams. That could be good for like being close to enemies and stuff. Give that a go. Golden Micro. Oh, I finally got a Golden Micro weapon. Awesome. Oh god, that poison was a little spicy. Obviously the good thing is here as well, Lance has a lot of range, we can shoot enemies through walls. Gotta remember I really don't need ammo. I keep like running to pick it up and I just, it doesn't do anything for me. Shotgun. Unfortunately that's not melee based, even though it sounds like it might be. Through to here. Try and utilise the walls as much as we can here to stay out the way of the annoyances. I did take some damage there. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I didn't even see you. We are killing these guys way faster than I should be. My god. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. Okay, so I think we probably want to go with, um, with Bloodlust here. But just because we need to be able to stay at high HP. I mean, it's just a nice way for us to heal anyways, but us staying at high HP is important to get our full bonus. Oh, we got a blob gun already as well. Getting our full bonus out of ecstatic fists is uh, obviously quite important for us. So. Okay, these guys are problematic for us, so let's do our best to take care of them early. Good. Keep getting radiation as our mutation here. I don't need radiation. I mean, thank you, but I don't need it. Um, mm, a lot of good things here. Tough Shell would be a good one, uh, just to sort of give us a bit of defense, but I'm going to go with Impact Wrist, considering we're melee. I think that just works nicely. With a lot of chain reactioning. Ah, oh, Maggot goddamn hit me there. Oh, he does one damage, but it's still annoying. Right. Inverted bush box. Does this guy this guy doesn't move on diagonals, does he? Yeah, that was stupid of me. Ah man, bush box is pretty tough, but we've we've got a build here that is pretty gnarly. Yeah, bush box is uh is something else. We definitely need long arms ASAP. Long arms clearly proved to be insanely valuable with this. Didn't get a level up here, that's kind of annoying. Or like a morsel. A morsel off the level up. So does this give an inverted um, mag inversion magnet if I break it? It does. I wonder what that thing's about then. Maybe it's a special inversion magnet and I need to pick it up and go somewhere. There is some new stuff I haven't seen before. So it's, there's, there's certainly the chance. Ah, that was just silly. That was just... I'm playing too aggressive. That... That was a very, very bad bit of damage there. But I will not die, I promise you. This level, I will not die. Told ya. Told ya. Right, here we go. We got a level up this time. Um, I guess just Plutonium Hunger is a good one to grab for grabbing HP. And just rads as well. Makes life a little easier, doesn't it? One less thing to think about. And it'll stop me chasing after ammo that I don't need as well, which is nice. Old rifle. I think I'm okay. 
I don't know if I want to be like firing them both off at once or like alternating between the two of them. I'm not sure what's going to be the best for the highest damage output. I don't think it probably matters, but I want to optimize. Right, there we go. Um, Gamma Guts could be good. I'm going to actually take Patience though and try and uh, hold out for something better. I don't, nothing on there really jumped out at me apart from Gamma Guts and... Gamma Guts is one of those things where it's like, as long as I don't have a skill issue, I'll be fine. I can't believe I lived through that, to be honest. <laughs> I thought he was definitely going to kill me with those explosive bullets there. Ooh, Hypersomnia. Very, very nice. And the Scarier Face. I don't know why, so a lot of people in the Discord seem to think the Scarier Face is quite underpowered, but goddamn, I love it. I think it's top. I mean, we managed to get through that whole area with Hypersomnia there, pretty much. I love the fact that enemies don't explode when I've got Hypersomnia active. It's amazing. Wow. You need to stop, good sir. Close that up. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Not quite as good as last time, but this is still good. Uh, trigger Fingers is really good with melee weapons, so I'll take that. And I will go and get my free XP here for my free rads. Boom, boom, boom. In fact, I might as well just kill them. They're, like, really, really easy to kill in this situation. I think I can go like this and grab my inversion thing, right? Nope, my crown's gone. Lovely. My bad, I should have just left. By the way, <coughs> I do have a bit of a sore throat at the minute, so apologies if I clear my throat. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Okay. A bunch of snipers. They're not too bad to deal with. You're going to be annoying, aren't you? Inverted version of this guy is, is pretty gnarly. Ah, dude. Melee against him is not the way to go. Not the way to go at all. He just fires so many of those shots, man. I sat all the way over there that time. Weird. I don't know what that's about. I'm confused by it. Trigger fingers again. Take that. Be able to spam fire when there's a lot of enemies, especially when we get to loot. It's gonna be really nice. I'm liking this this double melee setup though. This is something I don't think I've done as this guy in a while at least. It's, it's good. I love getting all the weapon mods from going inverted areas. The best way to play the game. I just like having the option to go the inverted areas every time as well. Like, playing with the inversion crown. Just having that option every time is so nice. Cool. Last few fellas. Where are you going to spawn from? <clears throat> My god, it's so crazy how quick he can kill him by reflecting his own explosives back at him. Right. Careful. We do have exact fists, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. So we do need to stick at as high a health as we can, if possible. Got explosive on our melee as well. Little risky, but shouldn't be too bad. Um, Inner peace, I guess? We've proven that inner piece is uh, pretty amazing in the past, so I say why not? But yeah, we're probably not going to be swapping weapon for a little while here, at least until like the lab. I don't think we're going to be finding many better melee weapons than this setup right now. This is like the the top tier for early game. It's just great that you start with two of the same one as well. I love that. It's a great change. Um. 
Not really getting what I want here, to be honest. I guess I'll take Gamma Guts as a just-in-case skill issue sort of thing. Not really what I'm looking for, though. More like a Hypersomnia or scarier face or something. And steal my ammo all you want, little fellas. It's not going to do anything. Oh, goddamn. Very nearly killed myself. That explosion from that little cop there was uh, not ideal. Do you know what? I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to take the risk. I'm not going to lose my inversion crown either. And I say, I'm a little worried coming into this area, to be honest. Fortunately, yep. Yeah. Ah. Fortunately, the low health there makes that particularly difficult. So this is not a great episode so far in terms of progression, in terms of doing well. I'm a little out of practice. Right, we'll go through here this time. Um, I'll take that. Because like we're one-shotting everything, but having to get reasonably close. I just need long arms earlier. I, I keep getting either not getting long arms, or when I've had it, it's been a bit too late. If I can get it early, I can prevent a lot of damage, because I can hit enemies through walls and stuff more easily. Another bad hit there. Don't know how easy you're going to be. I've got low health, so I'm not super hopeful, I'll be honest. I've got a melee, so I can knock your shots back at you, which helps. Okay, that was, that was pretty good. Um, Hypersomnia again. Trigger Fingers is good, but I think Hypersomnia just makes areas like this just a lot easier. I can clear, like, a good 50% of an area before I even have to deal with the enemies themselves, which I think is pretty good. And you should die pretty quick as long as I uh, take advantage of while you're asleep. Lovely. Come on, die. There you go. Took a bit of doing, but we got there. Right, so definitely grab long arms this time around. Where the hell is it? There you go. It also just helps, like, like in this situation here with multi-killing enemies. I got hit by something there I really shouldn't have. It's going to be a bit tricky, I think. Luckily, this guy has lower HP, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I've just got to really keep my distance from him. There you go, we got him. We got him, we got him. Cool, okay. Right, we've got another choose what we want level up next time as well, so I'm not entirely sure what I'll go for there. Grab that. Oop, that policeman is doing some gnarly stuff there. Okay, through we go. Right, what do we actually want here? What would what would go best with this setup? I really don't know. Um How does this even work with this um with this guy? I don't even know. I mean, I could just take the fists again cuz that was pretty good last time. I could take in a piece. That's always a good choice. Nothing really from the vanilla section that I think is going to be super good for us. I could go with Heavy Heart and just kind of mix that into our melee. Let's give that a go. I don't use Heavy Heart very often. But I just kind of like the idea of mixing that into our uh, into our run here. Weapons dropping, shooting. Because then we've got the ability to shoot without shooting. We can still use melee, but the weapons are still going off. I like it. Right, unfortunately, we are at the big bastard again. Ah, oh, dude. The, the micro missiles will get me every time. Right, you gotta die. Thank you. 
that way the micro misses, we should be fine. There you go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, I kind of like this. I should I should take heavy heart more often to be honest. It's just a fun um, it's just a fun item. You can do some cool stuff with it. I think we probably do want to take boiling veins though, because I'm pretty sure it can kill us if it fires off a, a big explosive at any point. Also, it'd be a good idea to take open mine too. Actually, get more chests in the mix. Really? I did not realize I was on such low health there. My god, that was stupid. Oh, I'm well disappointed with that. That was going reasonably well. All right, we'll give it one more go. Why are you here? What triggered that? That was weird. I didn't even get a level up. That was very strange. Why did he spawn on the first floor? Did I like, open the chests like quick enough or something? I don't. I don't know. Bloodlust, I guess. Seemed to help us a lot last time. A lot and a lot of healing to be gained. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a heavy heart run next run. I don't know who has, but I think I'm gonna try and build towards a heavy heart run. Oh my god, no. That was kind of close. Playing like a crazy person right now. Cool. Good to go. Thank you. Hey, long arms. Very good. Flexible elbow. Very good. And we are aware. Oh my god, long arms is so goddamn good with this. But yeah, I'm going to try and do a heavy heart run next time. Uh, and build like, really heavily towards it. So I want boiling veins. I want a heavy heart, obviously. I want uh, open mind. And I want weapon drop mutations on my weapons. Not mutations, weapon mods. You, you know what I mean. Okay. Kind of blitzing through this. Almost missed that assassin there. And we are through. I love the way it like, carves a path directly to the portal for you. Makes it easier to get around. Boom bow. Bit of swarm there. I didn't I, I didn't even sort of think about the fact that we got swarm. That's nice to have. Unfortunately, we, we do have the big boy again on this floor because I went inverted again. Probably not a good idea. Oh god damn that explosives. Let's take out the other guys first. Oh my lord. No! Okay. We'll leave it there for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy though. That was a fun one. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.